Okay, let me, before, let me just take the school. Hello? I can now begin to skit. Too late, go join and get on. I can't feel good. Yeah, I have to be so careful for us to make a joke about it. Hmm, not good. He's now a comedian. Not a kid anymore. We'll speak later. Bye. Sorry about that. That's right. Your show, I guess. You do what you want. <laughs> Today, we have one of South Africa's most successful comedians, Donovan Goliath! Thank you, thank you. <laughs> <laughs> How are you, Donovan? I'm good, man, thank you. This is so nice. Thank this is you. the closest I'll probably get to Oprah. This is amazing. <laughs> <laughs> no, I prefer um, being called Ellen. Ellen? Yeah. El oh, Ellen. Okay. Yeah, Ellen, Ellen, sorry. Do you know my face? I've seen your face many times. Oh, okay. Yeah. And do you know that I've recently left my nine to five? Really? That's a massive round of applause. So you're making that paper now, eh? <laughs> no, unfortunately not. That's why you're here. Oh, oh. Because I need to make the money. <laughs> How did you become a full-time comedian? How did you leave that nine to five? I know you were in advertising yeah. first. Yeah. And you did that for how many years? Seven years. You? Seven years, yeah. And so? So I, um, I'm originally from Amtata in the Eastern mm -hmm. Cape. Um, I studied art and design in PE and then got a job in Joburg as an art director. Didn't even study advertising. I just, I don't know, they liked what I had to say. Okay. <laughs> and then I got my job. I worked in advertising for seven years. Loved it, learned a lot. Um, got to travel because of it. Got to meet a lot of celebrities that I'd grown up watching on TV, oh, which was quite amazing. a thing. You know, yeah. that, you know that vibe, like when you meet somebody um, in a professional environment, then you're like, Ugh. Yeah, you have to stay you're calm. Not, exactly, cool it's like you when you saw me, you know what I mean? It must have been a... <laughs> This must be overwhelming for you. Know? Oh my god, I was so <laughs> tired. Um, and then, you know what happened? I've never wanted to do uh, stand-up before. Uh. Right? I've never, it's never been a dream of mine. Um, I only started, my first stand-up show I actually watched in 2011, uh. right? Um, 2010 actually, 2010 I watched my first stand-up show and there was a guy telling stories about his life. Yeah. And I was drawn to it, I'm just like, man, this is, you know, he's literally just talking about where he grew up and you know, just the, the ups and downs, and essentially, of growing up I where you did. Do that exactly, because of where I come from, you know. Yeah. I'm like this, uh, I'm like white this white looking, looking colored boy yes. <laughs> from Amtata, I speak Khasa, like they're all of these things, That's you know. That's impressive. Yes. So, and then I just I've decided, okay, let me just write a, like five minutes about my life, go ah. on stage and then just tell it. Um, I booked a five minute slot, um, did my show, or I did my set rather. It worked, then I got a call the next day, or there was one of the comedians asked me to come to their show, and it just slowly started snowballing. Oh. Uh, so, so tell us, what don't you do? You're a comedian? Yeah. You are a professional MC. When I read that, I'm like, oh, gee, was intimidated much, but okay. What um, else do you do? Obviously, being a creative, I, I'm a photographer, I shoot, I design, I illustrate. Um, I actually did religious oil paintings um, wow. at, uh, for there was a church in Kunu, I did it there first, but massive, like life size. I'll send you the pictures. We can pop it up. Yes. Like here, yes. somewhere. This is like let's sync mm. it and pop it yeah. up right there. Um, and then. Um, oh, yeah, and you are all director also because you're directing my show now. Exactly. Okay, let's go. <laughs> but uh, yeah, I do a lot, man. I enjoy stuff like in the creative space. I think it's uh, also because of what I studied. You know, mm. I didn't study one specific thing. Like I was involved in like many yeah. areas of creativity. Yeah. I'm a very curious person as well. You know, I like to try new things, and I think I'm also a quick learner. Mm. So, yeah. Nice. And tell us about the Goliath and Goliath Comedy Club. Yes. Let me tell you about the Goliath and Goliath Collective first. Um, so it's myself, it's Jason Goliath, it's Nicholas Goliath. Yeah. We're not related, you know that. Yeah, just, I thought you brothers. Everybody I mean. does. Because it's a weird surname. Yeah. And what are the chances that three of you all do comedy? Okay, guys, so they're not related, they're not brothers. Stop saying they're brothers. Yeah. Um, but Jason and Nicholas are cousins. And oh. then Kate, who's our manager, Kate Goliath is Jason's sister. So I'm the only one that's not, not related, related, not part of the official yeah. family, but we're family. We're family, you know? okay. Um, yeah, so we are a comedy collective. Um, we've been running clubs for a very long time around Joburg. At one point, we um, were running like eight gigs in wow. a week. And you know, that became like a 
Okay. A thing so we became it, known as the guys. Is it only the three of you, or are you also creating a space oh, for no, other comedians? Oh no, no, it was comedians? definitely to create for other comedians. Oh wow! And one of the reasons why we started um, a comedy club was uh, it, it would take a very long time for you to jump on stage. Two months, three months, sometimes, just yeah. to get a spot to do five minutes, and. Anybody who does comedy will tell you that uh, that's the best form of practice you need to get on stage, you know. So if, there's, if you're not like on stage practicing, appearing, trying stuff out, there's no point to this thing. Yes. So we created a stage, you know, for ourselves to perform on, but obviously to give um, younger guys a platform as well to do their thing. Mm. Um, which, is, which has been really great, you know. We can proudly say now that, you know, we've, we've really put a lot of guys, like young guys on, you know, who've gone on to do incredible things, things, you know. Mm. So um, I think in terms of adding value, you know, that for us is like really the most most profound thing because the brand has done really well. You know, we had an amazing comedy club in Melrose. Yeah, Rose everyone Arch. knows about you, I know. I've but heard. it's it's be <laughs> but it's but it's been as a, as a result of just that hard work and that consistency. Yes. You know. Yes. So amazing. And if you give back, it will always come back. Always. To you. Yes. Always. You know. Well, I just hold on. Are you uh, in a relationship? I am in a very very amazing oh. relationship. Yeah. I'm almost engaged. Just oh so really? You know, Congratulations. Yeah, Thanks. There we go. <laughs> Thank you. And then strictly come dancing. Oh. Oh, no. You were there. <laughs> <laughs> you were there in 2014. Yes. You were on the show. Okay. Yes. So I love dancing, but I can't dance. So I need you to show me a few moves, please. I don't yeah. remember any of the moves. Like, you know, this is weird. Somebody asked me the other day. I honestly do not remember any of the moves. I really don't. I would love to. I thought we were going to salsa. What did you do there? What, what is that stuff called? Jazz. Oh, jazz. You, you can't do anything. No. I can't. Oh it's weird. I also broke my foot not so long ago, so it's very hard Is for it? me to. Yes, I did. I was what skateboarding. Happened? Okay, I wasn't skateboarding. I did like a trick on a skateboard, and then I slipped and fell, and then broke my foot, and I was in a cast for a very long time. Yo. So it's probably not good for me to mm. put like too much strain, you know, on, on my foot. I think he's lying, guys. Nope, not at all. I'm gonna go look for that photos where you broke your ankles. Yep. Are you ready for the games? Speak out, and with that thing in his mouth, I'm gonna try and figure out what he is saying. Okay, wait, cool. now, do I okay. ask the red flag? When is the full thing of you, Okay, is there a timer? Yeah, there's a timer. I think I'm drilling on myself. <laughs> <laughs> this is funny, but I can't swim on the show, sorry. My teeth are getting dry. <laughs> <laughs> All yeah. right, here we go. Ha hila hrons ha pink. Popular? Uh -huh. Something or pink? Ha hila hrons ha pink. Can, one word. Uh, In the sea. Popular mermaids. No, hrons. Hrons. <laughs> Is it? Who is it? <laughs> <laughs> easy, easy. Okay. Mother. I Music. Music uh -huh. pleases me. Yes! Yay! Well done! Ninjas, height, hit nunchucks. Nunchucks. Ninjas, height, hit nunchucks. Nunchucks? Yes! What is nunchucks? Oh, That's okay. That's Okay. Hahi, eagle ears. Huh? Hahi, eagle ears. Fluffy? No, 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 no. Fluffy. <laughs> Fluffy. Ah! Fluffy. Sloppy. Okay, I'm gonna go on. Pancakes are my favorite food. Pancakes are my favorite yes, food. Yes, well done. Melted butterscotch sundae. Mmm. Melted? Uh huh. Butterscotch? Butterscotch. Uh -huh. Sunday. Sunday. Yes. Quiet. The shika is not that honey. <laughs> I am that funny. <laughs> well, that ridge is hunt to hurt. That? Well. Ridge. Ridge. Bridge. Yes. Well, that bridge is burnt. Yes. To hurt. To hurt. To what? <gasps> Burn to wood. Burn to wood. No! Dirt, dirt, dirt. But! Yes! But. Ashes! You got this right! Oh, yeah, you did! This is disgusting. <laughs> Every rich guy on loose. Huh? Every rich guy? No! Is it an English saying? I'm but Afrikaans. Loose. Every which way got loose. Mm -mm. Every which way not loose. Mm -mm. But. But loose. Yes! Quiet! 
Okay, thank you. <laughs> Please, can I take can I this? Out? <laughs> <laughs> you forgot. <gasps> Donovan, wait. I forgot. What? I have some questions from my followers for you. Really? How stupid am I? Do your followers even know me? We'll see. You got a few questions from them. Okay. Okay, someone is asking, will he marry me? Unfortunately not. Um, I'm about to propose to my now girlfriend. Very I'm sorry. also almost engaged, should exactly. I tell you? Boom. We've left our nine to fives. <laughs> <laughs> Does he know of any places, preferably wheelchair friendly, in mm -hmm. Cape Town, that does amateur stand up? I don't know of any place. That's a very good question, actually, yeah. and I like that. I will ask uh, my comedian friends in yes. Cape Town if they can. This is a bit deep. What was the defining moment in his career? Oh, that's wow. Shame that's too difficult. One of the top three, then, just name one. I mean, look, there's been a lot of amazing moments. I'll break it down like this. A big deal for me was getting my degree in art and design. How long do you study for that? Four years. I come from a place where it's a non-existent thing. You know, getting a massive job at my company Network BBDO, so that. Was was a huge deal for me and then um, in comedy the first one was when David Cow uh, got me onto his blacks only lineup Wow! which is a, uh, when you were a young comic back then that was a big deal the second one which is the most defining moment actually out of all of them is me taking my one-man show back to Amtata and perform to my people to in my hometown, hometown. that wow. was scariest thing I've ever done it is intimidating scariest, scariest thing I've ever done but like like mm -hmm. a real one for me, you know, yes. I was very emotional for a very long time yeah. after that. It's easy to perform in front of people you don't know. Okay. Yeah, okay. you're or right. What do you think? Uh, yeah, you, you, spot, spot on. I know that you wanted to, to end uh, this interview soon, but can I ask you a question? Yeah. Why do you seem so nervous now? Like this is... <laughs> hey, tell me about how Sheikah's Closet started. <sighs> This was never intended, it was never planned. I had a nine to five. Then I, one day I decided to take out my phone and tell a few office stories. I just tell people about the office fight and the cat fight, cat fight and people found me funny. Do you consider ago. yourself a funny person though? The secret for me is trying not to be funny, that's when. Okay, because it's amazing, eh? Like it's amazing, it's, yeah. it's flawless. Is like, it? I watch that, I'm like, <laughs> yeah. like you just rattle <laughs> off, you know? And like, I always wonder, do you have a script for it? No. One take. One take, there you go. That's pretty amazing. You know what I like about this is people make too many excuses. If you have a phone and you've got access to the internet, yeah. you don't really have an excuse not to tell a story, tell your story, or to make something of yourself. Yes. Which is why I like your story. It's yeah. amazing, it's yes. relatable, and you are drawing like a super engaged audience. Thank you so much. Is law school done now? Law school is done. Look here, yeah, I wrote my board exams. I wrote all four. I just need one year of articles before I'm an official lawyer. But imagine... I stopped. I'm here, man. I want to be here. But like, imagine you're a lawyer and you're doing that stuff. <laughs> <laughs> can, you, can you imagine? It will never in, work. In, and the be thing amazing. is, no, I can't be a lawyer now because no one is going to take me serious. Do you understand? Because I'm this comedian. I'm this funny girl. Yeah. Now you want to walk in court and be serious. And it will never work. I'm sorry. <laughs> Where uh, did they go? This is your lawyer. And somebody goes, Shika. Shika's is that, is that? <laughs> But I, I'm not interested. Like, if it's for you, it's no, for you. I'm glad. It's but great. Now it's I feel like me. you're doing what you've always wanted to do mm. but you've never known that yes. it existed do mm. you think it's too late for me to go and study drama and stuff now i don't think you need to study drama like <sighs> I you know why to. i say that is because like i say when you get into shika's closet like the switch from rashika to shika's, shika's closet, closet is like yeah. wow <laughs> it's also like i do a gag my most famous gag my most quoted gag where i um i do a jason statham impression oh. and people expect me to do that jason statham impression Every single time. It's a great impression though. Is it? Do, do one? Jason Statham <laughs> yeah. impression. I love okay. him. All the ladies love Jason Statham. Oh yeah. That's how you got your girl. <laughs> no. Okay. Charm. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> and I slid in her DMs. Ah. I did Jason Statham. Right. So we're here. Sitting next to the Sheikah. Sheikah's closet. That's what they call you. This is pretty weird. I was sat next to somebody like you. Well, tension's always on me. It seems like it's on you this time. I like you. You're funny. There's not many people that make me laugh. But you, there's something about you. You got it. You got it going on. Well done. Very nice. <laughs> <laughs> yeah! First time, Sheikah's Closet. Here we go, Jason Statham. Who told I you didn't to do that? Drama. I did. I this. can't do English accents because I'm Afrikaans. No, but then do an Afrikaans one. I do a gag you now where I do That's, Arnold Schwarzenegger amazing. speaking, but in a Kosa accent. 
Yeah. Crazy. You know how, how, where this came from? My where? sister and I, we would make fun of our parents' friends and our family members. Oh. But we'd like, we'd, we'd pretend to be like nice. those characters and like chat to each other and stuff. Nice. You tell a joke, that person don't laugh, no, but you don't care. You just go on oh, and on Oh, we do and care. On. You Yo. know how many times that happens? Uh. It's just that we've had to learn to keep moving on so okay. that the audience doesn't pick it up. You know what often happens? So we'd be performing for like 2,000 people but you will always be drawn to that one person that that's like just this. staring, that mm. doesn't laugh. And you keep, the, the biggest mistake you can make is go to that person and ask them like why, uh, you know, just to break them. You've ignored 1,999 people oh, and okay. there's one person that's just, yes. it, it eats at you. Yes. And you'll come, you'll Focus kill on it. the good ones. Yeah, you'll kill it, but you'll come off stage and you'll only talk about that person. Uh, you won't think that you've done really well. Mm. So. It's it's real mm. what you're talking about. Like you you always drawn to that I must negative. Just try and block that no, out. Man. There's always people that won't love you. Just always stay in Sheikah's closet mode. Mm. <laughs> Sheikah's closet would never stand for that. This is the end of our amazing interview. Thank I'm you, sad. Donovan. You've been a sport. I love having comedians on the show because they can talk. I'm it's sad. very I feel nice. Like this was the interview. Like uh, just this part on this yeah. couch. This was that nice. That was too formal. That wasn't Sheikah's closet there. This was nice, uh, but this was also just like they got to know about you now. Yeah. So nobody really knows about you. Uh, like they see you and they see all of that stuff, but nobody knows how. Yeah. And Schauburg, they must know me. You're gonna make me famous here. Yeah? I'll make you very famous. Okay, Schauburg. quite. Oh, so where I, can they find you? Um, on all social media at Donovan Goliath Instagram. Um, if you want to follow uh, Donny Custard Brew. <laughs> That's my alter ego. Okay. You know what? Donny Custard and Sheikha's Closet need to do a collab. We do. We have to do it. But mm. thank you very much for inviting me. Um, and it's look, I am looking a little bit disheveled. I don't have a lot of time to prepare. Uh, you can see like my... But Jace must fat anyway, so <laughs> why do you care? <laughs> thank you so much, Anna. Thank you. You've been Thanks a great sport. Um, it's lovely meeting you guys. Can you believe it? It's our first time meeting each other. Thank you, Donovan, for thank coming you. out. Thanks thank you to me. the audience. And step into Sheikha's Closet next week. Next week. We can just keep doing this. Oh. <laughs> Hi guys, this is Rashika. Don't even lie. No, stop it. He's taken. But if you want to see more hot or funny people, just go and subscribe. Or you know what? Stay tuned to watch more content.